was done under his name. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Amen. From Genesis to Revelations, I believe that everything, amen, that was recorded was recorded under, amen, his name. Amen. I believe his name, amen, it, it stands alone all by itself. Amen. Hallelujah. God has given him a name above every name. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and, and there's nothing that can touch, amen, uh, uh, the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. There, there's nothing that, amen, can compare, amen, to him. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe he spread forth the earth all by himself. Amen. I don't believe he needs no help tonight. Amen. I believe he is totally, amen, independent. Amen. He stands alone. Amen. There is none like him. Amen. He can shake heaven and earth. He can turn hell upside down all by himself. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And I am sold out. Amen. On the name of Jesus. Amen. Everything in my life came through Christ. Amen. Everything in your life. Amen. It's going to come through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm telling you. Amen. He said that when there's two or three gathered together in his name, he said there, I am in the midst of them. Oh, my God. Amen. For the promise. Oh, I like it when he's in the midst. Oh, because I know everything is going to be okay. Amen. I say, I, you can be seated. I, I, I'm certainly enjoying myself. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Feasting, amen, with my brothers and sisters and seeing God do even such a work. And hallelujah. And I, 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 I want to see it continue. And I'm on the same page with you. This is the hour. Yes, sir. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the hour. Amen. And, uh, I believe God's going to do great things. Amen. Hallelujah. And I, I'm glad I've lived this long. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I, I, I thought I'd have been dead by now. Amen. But thank God for prayer. Yes, sir. Amen. It kept me going. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm telling you. I didn't get this far by myself. Amen. I didn't get this far by myself. God appointed men and women in my life. Amen. To get me this far. And I can realize that tonight. And if you can realize we're a team tonight. My God, my Lord. I tell you, you can realize we're all on the same side. your worship and your enthusiasm and amen the songs and amen I, I missed Tonto uh, the other night running around in here amen it was amen give us that little sermonette you know Tonto and I don't know who you are oh, yeah. uh, man he had a tie tied around his head and man he, <laughs> woo amen you know, God is so attentive to you personally. Yes, Amen. Holy God wants you to make it. Yes. Amen. Amen. And if it was only you out in the middle of nowhere, God would shut down a city and revive them. Amen. Amen. God told him, he said, Philip, you might as well call in the Calvary because I got somebody out there in the middle of nowhere that needs to go down in the water, needs to be baptized in Jesus' name, needs to be filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And that wasn't even in my notes. Amen. But I, you can be seen. Yeah. I appreciate the 
Lord. Amen. Because he humbled me. Amen. Laid in the bed for I don't know how long. Couldn't walk. Amen. Had to learn to walk all over again. A lot of us need to learn to walk all over again. Hallelujah. Amen. And I, I, I couldn't eat, didn't eat anything for 90 days. Amen. All I could drink was a Yahoo. Amen. Every morning, my wife bring me a Yahoo. Y'all, some of y'all might call it Yahoo's. I don't know, but the little chocolate drink in the can. Amen. And if I didn't drink it all the way down, I couldn't drink it all. My wife said, you're going to die. Like, I didn't know that. I was the one in the bed. Yeah. Here I am thinking I'm going to die. And then she walks in and says, you're going to die if you don't eat. God brought me out. Brother Joy, I was in a low hour. Been stripped of my pride. Oh. I could talk to God, but it was like I was just there. I was in that bed and I was dying and I couldn't, I didn't have no control over it. And man, I learned a lot by listening. Hello. And let me tell you, it got real low. It was a low time. My wife stayed right there and took care of me. I couldn't even get out of the bed. And Satan come along and laid up in the bed beside me and said, you don't really want to live like this, do you? And I said, no, I don't. Hello? And you'll start thinking all kinds of things. Hello? Because... You're low. You're down. I could have did anything to escape the condition that I was in. I don't know whether you call it being a man, being a product or whatever. I told my wife and said, I refuse to live like this. That there's too many pills on that nightstand for me to live like I'm talking low. I'm talking about getting down there. I'm trying to be transparent so you can understand. Amen. And getting in a low place. I'm not, I'm not the spiritual superman. I want you to know that I'm just somebody that, that's willing to be used by God just like you. And she straightened me out. She got dressed for work. She come in here and said, there's all the bills on the nightstand. Take as many as you want. I'm going to work. I'll see you later. If you want to sit there and lay there and feel sorry for yourself, then you do it. And I heard the door slam on the way out. <laughs> there wasn't nobody talking to me the dog. And I said, did you hear how she talked to me? And she looked at me like, Stuck her head down under the pillow. Somewhere in the back of my mind, way back there, dug down up under all kinds of self pity and discouragement. I knew God was going to show up. Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. And he did. And he brought me out of that bed and out of that wheelchair and off that walker. 
And I appreciate him for what he's done for me. And that's how come I know so much he can do it for you. Yes, sir. And he will do it for you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't live with you. I don't know your uh, state. I don't know what mindset you're in. But I, I know God is able. Amen. And we're going to go to the book of Isaiah. That's why I don't keep notes. I'm always losing. Chapter number nine. Verse number two. Amen, if you have it. Isaiah 9 and 2. Hold me if you don't. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 2 says the people that have walked in darkness have seen a great light and they that dwell in the land of the shadow of death upon them have the light shine Amen. Will you pray for God and ask God Come on, everybody pray. Everybody knows how to pray. Let's pray and ask God's spirit to be in our midst. Lord, to move in this place, God. Oh, God, shake us, Lord. God, shake our minds. Stir us, God. Lord, bring us out, God, of these things that we're in. Lord, we never forget to praise you and glorify you. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, yes, Jesus, yes, Jesus. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> well, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, yes, Lord. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. You made me see that God is such a wonderful God. Hallelujah. And David said, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Amen. He said, For thou art with me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, if David was praying today, he would say something like, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, because thou art in me. Yes, sir. My Lord. Woo. My Lord, my Lord. I'm telling you, that's why David said, My God. He made it personal in our lives. Amen. He took up his habitation inside of us. Yeah. Amen. He, he, he's not a far away God, like I said last night, but he's a very present help. Amen. In a time of trouble. Yeah. Amen. I'm going to read. And I'm going to try to slow down. Man, I appreciate that prayer. I can't say Brother Bowden because more than two or three people look at me. <laughs> so I'm say Brother Joy. I would appreciate that. That, that that prayer, that sincerity. You can feel when people are sincere. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and you know that's what it's all about. Yes, sir. Amen. But I'm gonna read just a little bit in, in Psalms. Uh, I think it's 107. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, God's fixing to reach deep tonight. He's fixing to reach way down. Amen. Hallelujah. Because I 
Amen. I need a touch. Hallelujah. I need healing. I think somebody, amen, is going to get healed tonight. Yes, sir. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm looking forward to seeing somebody healed in that. Amen. Somebody filled with the Holy Ghost and somebody's sins forgiven. Yes, sir. Amen. Somebody picked up. Yes, sir. Amen. Because they're down. Amen. I don't want you to leave the house of God depressed and discouraged. Amen. But I want you to leave, amen, with fullness of joy, amen, in your life. The Psalms 107, verse 14, said, Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distress, and he brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death, and break the bands in thunder. Amen. And, and, and I want to know, I, I know about bondage. Amen. I got to get rid of this thing right behind me right now. Hey, man. Amen. You got to get this uh, uh, water river flowing. Amen. Mm -hmm. Clap your hands and pray. Amen. Amen. See, there's a, there's a lot of things that Brother Frierson don't believe in. And I, I, if you do, I, I, but see, I just don't believe. Amen. In, in, in valleys anymore. Amen. Because I, I don't find none. Amen. In the whole New Testament, uh, the writings, but one. Amen. And John talks about Isaiah when he said the valley was going to be brought up uh, and the high places was going to be brought down uh, and we would fight Satan uh, on level ground. Uh, he said he'd make the rough way and the crooked way straight uh, and the rough way smooth. Uh, so I don't believe the devil has got the upper hand. Amen on the children of God. Hello. But there is a valley of the shadow of death. And I believe in trials and I believe in tribulation. But he's done proof, peace of God. That'll answer in any situation. Yes, sir. And there is a place called the valley of the shadow of death. And the valley of the shadow it is a place of deception. It is a, and this is the hour. This is the hour of deception. This is the hour when many are going to be deceived. Yes, sir. Amen. And they're going to lose out with God because they're being deceived. Right. Amen. Because, amen, of this valley. Of the shadow of death. In this valley. Can you cut that light out up there, Brother Brown? Brother Philip? I'm just back here having church with the children right now. Y'all just. But I'm coming back out, so just hold on. I gotta get a hammer and a switch and a flashlight. I did that because you're filming me. I don't want nobody to see me. I want to explain to you what the valley of the shadow is. And I want you to get this, amen, in your mind so you will realize just how Satan is deceiving people. He said them that walked in darkness and in the valley of the shadow had seen a great light. Amen. The only thing that can bring you out of this valley is the light of God. Amen. It's not the, it's not the, uh, uh, the people that are preaching false doctrine. Amen. The people that are preaching false doctrine teach you 
you have to adapt your eyes to the darkness. Amen. But a child of God should never adapt his sight. Amen. To walk in darkness. Amen. Because he's got the light inside of him. See, young brother Robert, stand up. Stand right there, about three foot off that wall. That's a shadow. A shadow is caused by the intercepting of light. Listen to me. Hallelujah. Amen. Like the moon reflects the sun, it intercepts the light. Amen. And, and you know what an intercepting is? Uh, you probably got some football players in here. Amen. Uh, but the the uh, thing that intercepts the light, Amen, uh, forms a shadow. Amen. And it takes the form of the interceptor. Amen. Uh, I want you to know that there was. Amen. Satan is walking around and got people fooled because see, amen, you can still see. See, you can still function in this area. And if you don't know better, you will think this is life. Oh, you got to hear me tonight. Amen. I'll tell you something. He said, the soul that walk in darkness. The darkness means dimness. See, we can see in here. We can get around. Amen. They taught us in the in the Marine Corps when the flares went up. We had to close our eyes in order to keep our eyes adapted to the darkness. So we can function. Amen. In the darkness. Amen. See, there's things that go on in the night. Amen. It's not totally dark. Amen. You can still see. Amen. But there's things that go on. The Bible said them that sleep, amen, sleep in the night, amen, them that are drunken, are drunken in the night.
See, when you walk in darkness, the light kind of aggravates your sight to where you can't even focus and see me because of the light. Amen. And some of us don't like the light. Amen. A lot of people don't like the light. Amen. The light tells too much. The light does too much. The light will make you see too much. The people like to walk around in the darkness. But you notice this place called the Valley of the Shadow. It's where the world lives, not the church. Listen to me. Clap your hands. I need some more water. David said that he was down in the mire and the water flood had overtaken him. And he was caught up in the mire. Does anybody, know, know, does anybody remember that place? Anybody remember being in the mire? Anybody remember living where I, where I just described? Hey, uh, hey, man, where you take your bill money and you buy a little bit to smoke or a little bit to drink. Hey, man, and you go out and you party all weekend. Hey, man, barely get all your eyes open. Hey, man, all stressed out. Oh, I'm going to tell you something. There's an answer. Hey, man, I don't care how bad your situation is. I don't care how bad it gets. I don't care how cruel, doom, and despair you are. I tell you, the light is able, hey, man, to reach down into your life and pick you up out of the mind. I believe that Jesus has done it all. Hello. All right. Amen. I believe he was uh, Elisha's meal and he threw it in the barrel. Amen. Or in the pot. Where death was in the pot. Amen. Because the meal was barley. Amen. I believe he was Gideon's barley cake that rolled into the camp. Amen. I believe he was Moses' rock. That's just for the water. Oh, you don't know what I'm saying. I want to tell you something tonight. I believe. Amen. There was one man in 12 miles of water on Mount Carmel. I'll tell you something tonight. I believe Jesus done it all. Hey, 
How many of you ever swung an axe? This is backwood Tennessee here, isn't it? Everybody swung an axe. Y'all probably take an axe in each hand and chop wood. <laughs> huh? I bet you girls can swing an axe and cut wood, can you? Yeah, oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You know how heavy an old axe head is. Amen. But the Bible said that they were cutting down a tree. They would go ahead and feel that. Now, that's pretty heavy. I'm a strong man like you. Amen. Now, but, uh, that man goes double wise. Double wise. <laughs> oh, that's the little axe head. They go hurt him. And he was cutting this tree down. Huh? Amen. And the axe head happened to fall off in the water. Amen. Old muddy Jordan River. Amen. You know, the Jordan River was muddy. Naaman didn't even want to take a bath in it. Amen. He said, there are better rivers that I can wash in. Why not? I got to go down in the muddy Jordan River. And the axe head fell in the water. He cried, the last master for it was borrowed. And the man of God said, where fell it? And he showed him the place. This axe head sunk. David talked about the water flow overtaking him. In other words, he was talking about being in the bottom of the river. In the mire. You ever been there? Huh? And I imagine when that old axe head hit bottom, it kind of stumbled on down in the mud. There it was, covered with water, covered with mud, in the in the mire. No way, no man could have found that axe head. Boy, I'm glad I know who Jesus is. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't no way nobody could even know when they're in search for that thing. Ain't it about glad? Oh, you know what I'm saying? Come on, I was lost. I was undone. I was on my way to a devil's hell. I was right in the midst of trial. I was right in the midst of tribulation. I was on my way from the valley of the shadow of death to the pits of hell.
to the main course. Amen. The Bible, Jesus said, I am the true vine, and my father is the husband man, and ye are the branches. Amen. I, wanna, I just want to, I'm going to inform you tonight of who you are, and I want to let the devil know who you are. I want him to know who we are. Amen. But we're the children of the high God. My God, we've been bought and paid for with a pride. child of God has to first come through the water. You cannot escape around baptism. You've got to come through the water. Amen. You've got to come through the water. I said the Moses brought us through the water. Amen. God's bringing us through the water. you got to be baptized in His name. you got to be filled with the Spirit. You've got to come through the water. Ain't no other way to come out the vine than through the water. Now the first church we don't baptize on the corner of 2nd Street. Hello. Come on. And he walked over there. Give me 2nd Peter. Uh, 1 14. Let me look at my notes. Yeah, 2 Peter 1 and 4. I want you to listen as you receive it. <coughs> listen. Jesus told Nicodemus, He said, Ye must be born again. You know why? I ain't got time to go in and explain it, but it had to do with the fall in the garden. Amen. And we, if, if we had to be born again because, amen, we are, 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 were born under carnality and under flesh. Amen. And a, a fleshly mind, a carnal mind. Amen. And that's an enemy to God. So we've got to be born again by the water and by the spirit. Because Peter stood up on the day of Pentecost and said, This is that that was spoken by the prophet, by the prophet Joel. In the last days, say of God, I will pour out my spirit. And that's the promise. Now listen to what he says here. Read. Second Peter 1 and 4. Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises. Listen, boy, I'm telling you, you can't get no greater than the Holy Ghost in filling you. My God, from your head, from your toe to your head, from your head to your toe. And you got the power to be anointed. My God, in the midst of darkness. Oh, my God. I'm you can shake the land with the anointing of the Holy Ghost.
And that old man of God that they say that could have messed up took the branch. And in his mind, this was Jesus, the righteous branch. Hello. He does symbolize this thing. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, just like going down in the water, in the natural, will put you in the spiritual realm. Amen. And he used the natural realm to call forth the power of God. Because the faith knew that one day there was going to arise a branch out of the root of the offspring of Jesse. Amen. And his name was going to be called Emmanuel. Amen. God's with us.
Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. That's what you start with when the devil comes your way. You say, look, I'm a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Hello. But sometimes we just forget who we are. He said, but you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. <laughs> they that walk in darkness stumble, they stagger. Hey, amen, but I want you to know something. Amen, who you are. Come on. Come on. Be First Corinthians 3, 16. Yeah, go ahead. It's all right. No, you're not. Sorry, you're not coming down. Okay. You're the light of the world. A city that is set on the hill. You are the light of the world. Amen, Jesus said in one place, he said, I am the light of the world. Amen, but he went away and he looked at him. He said, ye, I want you to know you, you, and you are the light of the world. All right. Or at least your little piece of it. Read. Cannot be here. You cannot be here. You're set up. God has brought you and set you up high above everything else. All right. Is that what he said? Did they place on the hillside? Yes, sir. Go ahead and read. First Peter 2 and 9, but you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, Man. a holy nation, a holy nation, a peculiar people, a peculiar people. that should show forth the praise of him who has called you. My God, that's why we come into the sanctuary. Amen. On Sunday, on Wednesday, revival night, every night. We got a praise on our lips. We're ready to worship God. Because we are a chosen generation. Hello. I know what it feels. I know what it feels like to be chosen. Hey, one of the few, one of the proud. Amen. We went army strong. We went Marine Corps strong. I know what it's like to be the few and the proud. Yes, sir. Chosen. 
to go in first. If you ignore me, I love you too. <laughs> I just got a farce of the Marines. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have one in my face every day for years. Go ahead, read. Corinthians three and sixteen. Know you not that you are the temple of God? Devil, listen, 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 devil. Know ye not that ye are the temple? Read. God is that the Spirit of God. The way oh, wait, wait, wait. The people that tell you they don't even come to church. They want to sit in your living room and tell you you don't need the Holy Ghost. You don't need to speak in tongues. Hey, Amen. He said, know ye not that the Spirit of God liveth inside of you. Now, I don't know about you, but when the Almighty God enters your body, hey, Amen. you just ain't going to be lolly yapping long and not feel something. Hey, Amen. That's the power in your body. My God, you, you going to shake, you going to shout, you going to run, you going to speak in tongues. Oh, dead with a heart attack. <laughs> Read. 19. What? No, you're not, so your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which yeah. is in you, which you have heard of God. In us? Is it in us? It's in us. Is it in you? Yes. Yeah. Is it in you? Yeah. It can't help you on the outside of you. Hello? Amen. Amen. It's got to get in you to do a work. That's right. Amen. Ah, all the old prophets, all the old people, Abraham and them, sought for a city whose builder and maker was God. You know why? Because God was on the outside of them, moving on them. Yeah. 
from among them. And be ye separate. Say it's the Lord. Lord. The same brother Fires is saying this. And touch not the unclean and thing. Touch not the yeah. unclean thing. Oh, let me tell you, we got grace. It's okay if you want to go down here and have a fun life. You know, we got grace. We're going back to church this Sunday. Preach right Amen. here. Amen. Amen. Praise you, God. So we all Come on. Come on. Come on. Amen. Amen. It ain't going to be all right. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. You know what? He said, man shall not live by bread alone. Amen. Makes you and makes you the temple of the living God. That's right. Oh. I think God said, and the Lord shall, shall suddenly come to his temple. I'm to cheat you out of it. That's right. Getting you close to the back so they can see me now. <laughs> I won't tell the people out there, you need the Holy Ghost. Right. You need the baptism of the Holy Ghost. That's right. Yeah. Sir. Come on. selling drugs and, say, and taking drugs. My wife, it didn't look like a, a steam engine coming down the railroad track. She used to smoke so much dope. Amen. But God is rich in mercy. Amen. And fill her with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. They are stuck. My God, she spoke in tongues. Amen. She shouted. And more than that, she changed her She thought she knew it all back then. She really thinks she knows it all now. <laughs> Play something, sis. Let's, let's go ahead. Debbie saying I preached too long. I'm going to give him an excuse. Go ahead. Play. Play. Listen to me. Man, I felt just such a anointing in here. And these brothers were praying and people were praying and people were crying. The 
there's some choice. 